Hello. So today I'm going to be showing you all of the things I drew last year. And I'm sorry, I'm gonna show you right now, just, I know it's only been like 12 seconds, but like, you just wanna dive straight into it. Um, I'm gonna show you uh, what it looks like, and um, here it is. Oh yeah, you can kinda of see them right there. So yeah, it's an absolute disaster. I have this book, which, um, this book, uh, it's, it's been through a lot this time. Like, um, the inside cover. Not really attached anymore. Um, this book has been through a lot. When I first started out, it was like fourth grade, and I was trying to make a book about horses. And then I decided I wouldn't want to do that, ripped out all the horse pages, and made it into a death note. And then, most recently, I ripped out all the pages of the death note. I made it into a sketchbook. And this one has like two things in it, um, so it's not as big of a deal, but this, this, this big boy, he's got a lot going on. Um, yeah. So like, here's the actual journal bit, and that's the number of pages that are still in it. It's missing one cover, it only has one cover, it used to have two. And then here's the rest of the stuff that fell out over the course of last year. And this was just during the school year, and um, this probably, like, this type of video will only, like, it, A, probably will never happen again, and B, if it does, it's not gonna be with recent art, because I don't really draw anymore. Um, I drew throughout, like, past three years, I just, like, drew all the time, but, like, that just doesn't happen anymore, so I'm sorry, because this is just, this is just one year of stuff. It's a lot. Well, this is, like, the summer, and this is, like, the school year. Before that, I did it in the two before that, and I had loose leaf paper, so maybe I'll do that some other time, but anyways, let's dive right into the- Also, side note, I reserve to write the right to not show the camera some pages if I think they're too personal or too graphic or stuff because, you know, teen, emo, there's gonna be some dark stuff within this tome of a thing, like, or you can see there's an emo girl in this book already, like, it's- Getting off. Um, but yeah, I don't really know YouTube guidelines. I'm gonna like try to stay away from too dark or stuff. Um, but there are some things that you know, like there's gonna be some nudity. Oh my god, no, naked people. <gasps> Guys, we're all as can we just like calm down and agree as artists that naked people are not a big deal anymore because they're not. So yeah, you're not gonna see like any genitals or secondary sex organs or anything. It's literally just like, it's not even like, I wouldn't even call it naked. It's like, before you draw the clothes on, you like have to draw the person. That's pretty much what it is. It's just me like working on body shapes. So, like maybe, maybe showing that will get this video taken down. I don't really care. I'm gonna show those, but like there's some things like, you know, self-harm that I'm not gonna show because, what should I start off with? Should I start off with this one? I think I'm gonna start out with this one. So, this is the front cover of the book, and then this is also like, I can't really open this very well. Um, it'll probably fall apart as I'm doing so, like, see, like, it's a disaster. Like, the binding, not fair too well. So, anyways, it's gonna be like this. <laughs> so, we're doing great. So, first thing first, we have this lovely piece of art. This was. Okay, so like there's this thing me and my friends and pretty much everyone I know does, um, where you, one person draws one thing, another person draws another thing, but you can't, like, coordinate, you can't tell each other what the other one's to draw, um, and it's called the drawing game, we draw basically the creepiest stuff you can, and that's what me and my sister did when we drew this lovely, lovely piece. Okay, page number two of this is already a disaster, um, I, oh my god, no, nudity, oh, look, it's just an outline, guys, it's just an anime outline. Anyways, I obviously wasn't very good at drawing back then. What even are those legs? What even is that face? Yeah, kind of. Also, a lot of people in my school, who, if they ever watch this, would be like, oh, That's what she was drawing all that time? Yes. Yes. This is what I was drawing. It's not that exciting. Uh, by the way, this isn't really in any particular order, because, you know, like, there's all, all of this stuff that fell out that 
isn't really in order like this. Like this section is roughly in chronological order. Um, is it? I date most of my work, but like not all work. Oh, it's a little professional. Most of my craft drawings, I date most of them, but not all of them. This one's kind of in order, except there's like an essay shoved in there somewhere, and like it's not really in order. It's so, like this is really in order <laughs> at all. Um, but yeah. So here's the next one. I'm sorry, they're all really faint. I didn't really ink a lot of them until later in the year. Um, this is a drawing of my best friend that I did during lunch lunch time. I remember that. Did I say lunch lunch time? I meant lunch one time. I don't know what I said. So yeah, that's a drawing of her. It's pretty exciting. This is so disorientating. Um, but yeah, okay. So, we got this piece of paper right there, here. And the other side, oh, those are the drawings. The paper says, um, it's just a note from me at 9.48 a.m. that says, So-and-so said hi and sup, and it is cocky not 9.48 a.m. <laughs> what? I don't know what that is. Anyways, here's the other drawing from 3-14-18. So, like, it was pretty recent. Not really recent, but, like, you know. It was off a reference picture, and the legs are, don't look even remotely okay, but, like, I'm pretty proud of the rest of it, and, like... The clothing and stuff, because I was really bad at clothing for like a really long time, okay? So be proud. Of Moving on, we have this lovely piece of art. <laughs> I think I was trying to draw like a pattern and realized that I was not meant for patterns. Uh, yeah. So, this was a drawing of a person and another person that wasn't finished. Oh my god, no, more nudity! Oh. This was a drawing of, well, this is supposed to be two drawings of two people I knew and admired in my class at the time. Only one got finished as, like, you know, little Nico cat people. So, yeah, because I was in the anime. Surprise! I drew this, like, goth death warrior. So, that was pretty exciting. And look, it's not focusing again. Anyways, goth death warrior. Yeah, fight the demons. Yeah. Okay, so we have, like, courtyards at the old school I used to go to. I don't go there anymore. Um. And I drew one of them, and this was like probably the last time we were ever allowed out there because people kept leaving like food trays everywhere, so we got banned from it. So yeah, that's the last time I ever went out there. We got a blank page. You can see how poor a condition this is, and this notebook's been through a rough time. Um, but after that, oh my god, look, if you're afraid of gay stuff, look away now. Just look gay. Ooh, yeah. Uh, yeah, this was like supposed to be a redraw. Well, not really necessarily a redraw, like at some point earlier in the year. In this other notebook I have way over there, in that massive stack of stuff, you can see, you can see in the corner, um, that I drew, I have, I used to be really into K-pop, and so I drew BTS, uh, which is a group, um, all, like, staying together, and I decided to draw a little with my ships, because I'm gay, and I like gay things, so, you know. We got a little Yu-Gi-Oh over there, it's not focusing, but that's who that is. Yeah, see yu gi that little yu gi there, tall little toad, and I don't know who those were supposed to be, because I obviously never finished. Then we got another drawing. I'm assuming this was also supposed to be my best friend, but I'm like not really sure, so. Yeah, her. Oh, I love this page. This was really cool, actually. Okay, so this is what I was like a really big sketch. Um, so, at one point, me and my best friend, who keeps getting drawn, we decided that we wanted to do a crossover of Undertale and Life is Strange. And we, it was so exciting. And we decided to, I don't know what we decided to call it, but if you don't, if you're not familiar with the characters, this will make no sense, but um, we decided to do Max and Frisk as the same character, we decided to call them Mask, because I thought that was chill. We did Chloe and Sam's, uh, we didn't decide a name for that. We did Kate and Alphys together. We did Warren is the Monster Kate, and then Rachel and Bikara. Um, and we just decided to call it Strange Tale, just under the light right there. And then this was supposed to be Mask, and then this was supposed to be Alphys slash Kate. So yeah. And then I left like a note up there, and I can already tell it's me bad, because I saw a Sharknado in it. So let me read it. If Imagine if there was a shark Hurricnado. <laughs> what? Imagine if there was a shark Hurricnado. There would be magical time traveling sharks everywhere, just shooting shooting out of the hurricanado while it snows and a solar eclipse occurs. God, why? Next up, we got more of the uh, gay trademark, and I also totally just ripped out of the book. So I'm doing great. I think that these two are from the group Block B. 
I don't know these groups anymore, and it's called Jaquan. And I don't remember what the name of these people are, but like, I obviously thought it was very cute. And it turns out it was cute too, so. You know what, if you're judging me, I don't really care. Um, what's up next? Um, it might be offensive to some people, so if you're sensitive to really just horrific images, you might want to look away, because this is, I'm sure this is very startling. It, it startled me, I wasn't prepared, um, but. I don't know if I should show you, this will probably get the video taken down, but um, I mean, I'm not living if I'm not being honest, so... I wanted- This is like actually the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, what is this? Did I think that this, this, this was a perfect- Because it was- Moving on, let's see- Oh wait, I turned backwards. Wait, what am I doing? Am I doing this right? No. I don't know how to hold this. Wait, okay. I figured out how to turn the page of my book. I'm just oh yeah! I remember this dude! He's almost falling out of the book, but like, I remember this dude! Okay, so this is the Magnificent Dino Man, and I love him! It was inspired by like, Tim burton -y sort of creepy, cool sort of dude, and he's just like a sweet dude. And he's obviously just like, here to serve. You can't see what I'm doing, because I'm like doing- I'm doing what he's doing. I'm doing what he's doing. I'm being the Magnificent Dino Man. And I'm a, he's a sweetheart. It's a very bad drawing, but like, you know what? I love you, baby. Okay, next up is something I think that I'm actually, I'm very proud of this, and like, I think it's the best art I've ever done. Um, it's gorgeous, like this should be in a museum. It's like, um, the secret is actually just work for math. Shh, don't tell. Next up, Emoness. Um, I never finished it, but it's a chick holding a heart with band lyrics. It's from the song, and I know the song immediately. I don't have to read it, I know what it is. It's called Maybe Next May by Secrets, and it reads, it's hard as yours, so take it as you please, but if you walk away, just know that I need that heart to breathe. And it's so emo, and like, honestly, that song still makes me live. So, okay, you can judge me, but you know what? Screw you. I like how this book is like actually falling apart, like so many Luke's pages are in now, like this is falling apart as I'm doing this. So this is why I didn't want to do this. This is what happens, this is what you're making me do. Okay, so next up is, um, something I never quite got done showing, and normally I'd be like, oh, you know, I don't really want to show drawings of people because you know, they're reveal identities, but like, these look nothing, absolutely nothing, like, the actual person, so I'm not worried. So yeah, this was, um, a picture of some people I knew at school. Uh, I won't say who they are. If you know who they are, you know who they are, and if you don't, you don't need to know, because it's all in the past, so chill, chill. And then on the flip side, there's three more people, all different people. I'll give you a hint, that one's me. I know I'm not actually that skinny in real life, but you know what, I wanted to like give myself a self-esteem booster. And Satan says no, because apparently focusing just isn't gonna happen today. Thanks. So yeah, that was like my friend group at the time. There's me, there's my best friend, she's been drawn before, with like a sketch pad and a pen because, I mean pencil. I don't know what it's supposed to be. It's some tool for writing because she loves drawing. And then there's my other friend in her cat hoodie because she loves cats. And then listening to music because she's emo just like, yo girl. And then next up is really cute actually. It's a picture of an elephant and then hippocampus. And my best friend and I actually both do hippocampuses. I think she's doing her some teal, but I want to do mine this color. And I used her, I used my pens and then her nice markers to do it. So that one's actually cute. This is the only animal I've ever drawn, like, above massively mediocre. So I'm pretty proud of it. The other side is the practical opposite of that. It is the ugliest peacock known to mankind, plus cursive, because why? Okay, this next one's kind of controversial, because I was actually really proud of this dog, and then I showed everyone, they're like, what even is that? Like, what? And I was just like, boy, it's beautiful. So yeah, you're entitled to your opinion. So just, what in ya? Apparently, it's ugly. I liked it. It's the best human body I think I've ever drawn in my life, and everyone hated it. So yeah, that's why I don't draw anymore. It was, it was someone doing. I wanted to draw someone doing high jump because I used to do high jump, and though I was incredibly mediocre at it, um, I enjoyed it. And it's like, it's obviously not super realistic, but there's like lines for shading, and like I thought it looked really cool. I don't know, maybe I'm just really stupid. I was happy about it. So, take- And on the other side of that one is something a little too nude for, you know, YouTube, but it's fine, it's fine. Anyways, basically, I was just trying to draw a human body. Um, I'll show you the bottom half, I think that should be fine. Yeah, there's the bottom half. 
I was just trying to draw legs, okay? And a body, and it didn't really work out. So just, you know what, let a girl live. Let me live. Oh, I'm so- <laughs> I thought I- Okay, this one's like actually like a beautiful work of art, and I will never stop loving this because it is just beautiful. I'm gonna have to cover a name, but it doesn't matter. Everyone knows who it is. It's my, um, oh, how do I cover this? Perfection. It's just, this is one of my teachers, so I was trying to like, you know, draw someone's face without actually drawing the head first, and then <laughs> for some reason, I decided to draw a foot. <laughs> so, the little thing next to it says, so-and-so as a foot, and then, um, below it, there's this little comic that says... Which one of you little corn nuts thought I wanted math art? And that's because we had to pick electives at my school and you gotta like pick your first choices But everyone wanted in the same class. So I got put math art and I hate it. So yeah, that's why that was Oh, that was the first little comic thing I did. Also the last. Anyways, move. Okay, next up was yet again me trying to switch styles and it looked awful. So here you go. I just wanted to draw something. It was kind of inspired by like Gravity Falls, you know, cartoony, but like same time kind of Tim Burton. I don't know. The pencil, it looked significantly better before I decided to do color pencil. Now it just looks off. Okay, and then over here I have another comic. Actually, I'm gonna have to color over another names. Um, but this is my comic. You can kind of see my face. I just don't want you to see the name. So yeah, that's my comic. I'm stupid. I think it says, uh, so-and-so. Can I grab my earbuds and, um, this Mr. Man right there? That was my science teacher. And he says, sure. And then it cuts to me going, ha, I'm such a rebel. Little does he know. I wasn't grabbing my earbuds. I just forgot my color pencils. <laughs> because that happened. For some reason, I lied about it. <laughs> so yeah, what well, could be being awkward? And then at the bottom of like this little section right here, there's a bunch of 21 Pilots lyrics because I was like in the depths of my emo-ness. I'm glad I moved on to being like metal, but like, ooh, it was rough. Um, and then down here, I slammed my head into my sketchbook and a bunch of foundation <laughs> came off. So I wrote Lee Foundation Smudge because I was emo, why not? And then over here is just a list of stuff I want to look up. <laughs> and there she glows. <laughs> the massive chunk just fell off. I'm sorry, that is way too funny. <laughs> this is falling apart. Anyways. Whee! Okay, so, this was an OCMA named Lainey, and she's a gay fox person. She has ears. You can see there, that same person is side view and I was trying to draw. That's when I was watching, um, Death Parade, I think? So I was finally trying to learn how to draw, um, and then Satan decides to not let me make a video. Great. And I was trying to learn how to do, like, side profiles and didn't really work. I'm obviously significantly better at drawing front profiles, and that saying something because I can't draw front profiles of those. Ah, blah. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. I was- I drew Lainey, and the hair, actually, I don't know why it's the only thing that's covered, um, colored. It was actually using watercolor pencils that I got for my birthday last year, so that was pretty exciting. And then up here, I was learning how to draw glasses. Wait, no, I wasn't watching Death Parade. I was watching another, which is- Another anime. <laughs> Do you ever just make a pun and then hate yourself so much that you actually want to die? Um, here we've got this rectangle with some smudges on it. I don't know what that is. Oh no! Here we have the worst picture of my best friend I've ever drawn in my life. It looks so bad. It's like life size too. Oh my god. Is it cringy? You bet! This next picture. It's probably what people are gonna think, oh my god, that's so edgy. You should put that on YouTube. La, 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 la. Well, guess what? I don't care. It's like another partial nudity one, but like you can't see anything. So like I don't think it's bad. And I'm honestly like pretty proud of this. Like I enjoyed this a lot. Um, anyways. Oh no, I have my full name at the bottom. Crap, okay. Well, I'll just cover up the full name part. Um, but yeah, there it is. That's my picture. I drew like, multi limb person. I did this at like 3 o'clock in the morning last year while listening to Three Days Grace, and it was great. That was like honestly like really fun. And I was going for like an androgynous person. I was working on shading, so I'm proud of this. So if you don't like it, then you can go and just do whatever you want. I am just now realizing that this is going to be an incredibly long video. So I'm. Anyway, this is gonna be another nudie person because oh my god, 
Nudie. <laughs> All you get is like a minor butt shot and you can like see that pretty much anywhere you go anywhere. It's like it doesn't matter. The hair is covering it up in case anyone's offended. I'll cover it up too. Oh my god. Are you offended yet? So yeah, basically I was just working on hairstyles. Um, yeah. And I was going to do another one, but I didn't get around to it. So yeah, I was just working on doing hair at that point. So it's chill, right? It's chill. It's chill. It's chill, girl. So this one? I don't really, I don't, I don't know what this one is, I have no idea, I think, well, I mean, this one, I was drawing me, because, surprise, surprise, I used to have really short hair, did not always used to be this long, and this isn't even long, I had a pixie cut at one point, like, it was, it was shorter than this, it was much shorter than this, it was awful, and anyway, so I was drawing myself, sketching, and then over here, I think I was trying to draw, like, a cheerleading outfit, and then there's, like, this random quiz, and the word my dad, in a bubble, so... I don't know. I confuse myself sometimes. And then I did this thing where I wrote a lot and I'm not going to read that. So some things are gonna remain a secret. Bungie, um, look, more writing. Guess who's not gonna read it? Yo. A dream I always see all of. Also, I'm sorry, the sun just decided to come out today and now it's blinding me. So yeah, this is Olive and I was drawing her outfit. She has like a long coat, obviously, and then like pens and pencils and stuff and boots and yeah. So, chill. OTP stuff. I mean, no, wait. OC stuff. I know my lingo. I <laughs> have a very mediocre owl. We're gonna skip that one, so. Videos don't get taken down because of weapons, right? Because I drew a creepypasta OC. And she got a real big knife. <laughs> yeah. And here we have another monstrously mediocre drawing of an animal. This is why I don't draw anything. So I'm moving on. <laughs> well. Y'all coming in for a surprise! Alright, if you can easily startled, I recommend looking away now. Alright, are y'all ready? <gasps> it's horrifying! I have no idea when I drew this or why, but it's actually genuinely like startling. Oh, sweet Jesus, save us all from this hell. <laughs> Moving on. Um, I drew my best friend as, um, a creepypasta, and, like, I gave her, like, a cute doll outfit and a parasol, but I also gave her an axe, so that's pretty fun. Like, it's exciting, right? I like it. It's chill. It's all. We got some more writing, and I'm not gonna make you guys read this one either, but that's just because it's a bunch of root words. It's, like, not actually interesting, so don't think you're actually missing something this time, because you won't. Um, and then I've got something else horrifying. Um. Boom. We got our spoopy boy, we got Jeff, we got Hoodie, we got Laughing Jack, we got Ben, Slenderman, um, Isla Shrek with mask, Isla Shrek with mouth mask, and I drew those all in a bathroom by myself. Yikes. And then, because those things weren't bad enough, I show you a decapitated head. And a body! <sighs> I'm a really interesting person. So that's all for that. Um, for that that one section. Um, this is gonna be a hell long video. I'm sorry, but remember we have this too, and then this. Should I save this? Should I save that for another video? Maybe I should, because like this is there's a lot more than there was in that other thing. Um, yeah, I think I'll do that. So um, if you enjoyed this and you want to see more of this, don't worry, because I probably already uploaded the other video, because I'm recording these all at once, because I don't want to stop, but I also don't want to screw people from watching these because they're like half an hour long. So yeah, chill, just look and you'll probably find another one. So, see y'all later. Bye.